Oh, I just, I, uh, deleted some footage, um, of an update about the car and stuff, but I think, um, I was just recording, um, what happened to the car and the car, uh, Clue. She's out there on Jack's. Um, but, yeah, things are working out. Um, I got all the air on all my tires. Good. Still waiting on new tire um hasn't shipped to the tire shop yet but i've got my end links off that were bad real jank rusty bad both of the bottom ones obviously both came off ball joints had to go and cut one of them real pain um but took about an hour yesterday i was working on it trying to get it loose only got this far and then today I went and cut it off with I hands I hand sawed that shit off thank goodness I got it off got this one off too but got them off sorry I'm not looking at the camera to seeing what I'm showing you guys but I've got the new ones they look pretty like pretty much OEM to spec and side by side look at them yeah here are the here are the Cusco ones that I'm gonna be replacing with them um, here are the other bolts I think I brought up that I ordered bolts because it said that they weren't gonna come with any but they ended up coming with some or not bolts but these nuts so uh Shout out to the guy that said that I needed to reuse OEM ones and they weren't going to come with any. But now they have some. I'm going to go ahead and get these onto the car. Get my end links on. But yeah, here we are. This is where Clue's been for the past almost week now. I'm going to go ahead and get these end links on and then, yeah. Uh, we'll see from there. Maybe you guys will see uh, the new tire on and everything. Then we'll go out for a test drive. See you guys then. I scuffed up that nut a little bit there. Um, trying to uh, torque it down and then probably take a uh, Gabbana uh, to uh, get that wheel mounted and then. Uh, bring her back and then we'll be rolling well see you guys when that happens it does have a go all the way up to eight so yeah so gotta go in a star pattern so to start at the top i have to go down here I'm just not enough right now because it's gonna spin i still have the car up so i won't be able to tighten it down as much as i mean that's why i know i can't get it let's jump over to the other side and get this spare on so i can move the car in Big jugs. Finally got my tire all mounted up. Uh, finally came in like Saturday, but I work or Friday, but I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today is Tuesday now. I'm off. Finally got to run errands. It's uh, still the morning time, 10:40 ish, and yeah, we back. About to put this on, take it off. Put her on, get her out, roll her out, put her in, you know, the dealio. But yeah, finally, now I can actually take the car out, get a test drive with the end links on, new end links on. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't handle, it should ha handle a lot better with it being all fixed. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll probably go out for a test drive probably today. I know that there's still more problems. I still smell 
like oil is probably because I haven't cleaned the up pipe either and the up pipe's literally right there where uh, the valve cover goes right right under it so yeah um, but no leaks though or yeah those those that's an old stain so yeah no leaks um, since I had the car on before and took it out um, and the tragedy happened yeah I'll take her out um, and we're gonna get things moving along I got more parts on the way so that means more install replacement videos for clue brew and we are gonna get this rolling alright well yeah I, I think I ended the video earlier um, but yeah I'll see you guys probably in the car driving and just cruising see how it handles and uh, what I can do about what other problems I have going on so if not I'll see you guys later Alright guys, so we're gonna let Clue uh, warm up a bit, go out for a drive in a second here, uh, when she's all warmed up, and we'll see how she rides, all back on all fours, um, yeah, I wanna be able to uh, give Clue some winter time with these winter tires that I have, um, I'll probably give her some light driving every once in a while. I'll probably uh, take her out to work during this winter, um, just to work and back home. Um, so shouldn't really be too bad um, if there is still like problems. We'll see when it comes up. Um, and as soon as I know what what the problems are, um, get them all fixed and situated. So. Um, I'm safely driving around, uh, and yeah, don't have to be scared for dear life, um, uh, just cruising to work and back home, but yeah, let's go out for a drive in a second here and, uh, see how she rides. So I'm leaking, or it, the overflow tank, something's going on with the radiator fluid. And I think this has been hitting, so that's where I'm hearing some noise and maybe the rubber on this. Yeah. The rubber right there has been hitting the timing belt, so I'm smelling... Damn. I think it busted it. So, I'm gonna ha have to stop with that so yeah I was driving and at some points when I'm gassing um, I could feel the pe the the gas pedal like knocking back so like something uh, like something's loose or and knocking um, the gas pedal but it's like on and off I don't know what triggers it and what makes it go away but there's knocking when I step onto the gra the gas pedal or like when I'm just like cruising and then it'll go away after a few seconds um, as you can tell there's that um, re overflow not overflow uh, coolant reservoir um, leaking so I might have to uh, redo the coolant on the car and then uh, I already have another bottle of uh, coolant, and then I, that's not pre-mixed, so I'm gonna have to get some distilled water, mix it up, um, burp out the engine, um, and then I may have to uh, actually, um, what is it? That that uh, hose or something that's above the alternator, I believe. I'll probably have to replace that too because it was hitting the timing belt alternator there and it busted um, I believe and was leaking so I guess also that was the smell that I was smelling 
because I smelt rubber, like, or, yeah, rubber, I believe, uh, getting heated up, and, so, yeah, there's those things I need to address, but, I believe she drives fine, I need to get the reservoir tank, uh, situated, I'm not getting any temperature, um, like, it's not over, like, Clue's not overheating or anything, um, the temperature's all fine, um, I just think that I need to redo, reburp her with some new radiator fluid. I might, uh, dump this out that I have now and then reuse that one, or most of it. Um, you know, it's still good coolant and no, no point of wasting it actually too. So yeah, I'll re, redo that and then check out what I need to do with the hose. Um, everything else feels fine, um, except for that pedal knocking. Sorry I didn't, um, record though while I was driving, it's just, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable having a camera and like, yeah, having it on, but yeah, um, saying but yeah a lot right now, I guess. Um, well, thanks for watching, um, more progress coming through. Uh, Clue is getting closer to where I want her to be and thank you guys for um, coming out here or coming going out of your way or let's see oh, I can't talk uh, thank you guys for watching the video uh, coming along with me on this journey with Clue Brew and getting her out and into the wilderness where she belongs during this winter time so Thanks for all of you, your guys' support watching my videos and keep the lookout for more and turn on that bell notification if you'd like to keep up to date with all my new videos and whenever I um, post up a new video and I'm definitely sure not going to post um, just car videos and stuff. Um, I'll definitely um, be diverse with all the videos that I put out and uh, for you guys so you guys um, so everybody can enjoy a little something that they, they like or are interested in. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And see you guys next time. Peace.